You are now listening to 15 Minutes of Fame Radio. Let's go! All right, yo, man, 15 Minutes of Fame. Big K. I told you to talk to me tomorrow, didn't I? Whew. I, I can just strike. feel the energy oh, is different today. It's a new, it's a new goat out here. <laughs> <laughs> Leave me alone. Bro. New goat? Shout out to Mook. It was a good one. You talk strikes again. Mm. Yeah, I was like, wow. Like, yo, you, the room said, I, yo, I'm, I'm pissed off. There was the one that you, you it was, I think it was in the first or the second that just was. What I say? What I say to him? I said so much shit to that man. You, you said a lot of shit, gang. You said a lot of shit. It was just awesome. No, see, like, that's the thing. You know, when you prepare for the battle, people are asking you in interviews, like, so how's your material? What's your preparation like? In reality, I wrote more bars for this battle than any battle I ever had. Wow. So as long as I do that and I lock my shit in, what more can you do? Right. You know what I'm saying? As long as you try, you, you, you write up. You can't get an opportunity and not write up. So I wrote up. And, and it, oh, the, uh, oh, the fucking, the, one of the joints, man, the, um... Uh, in the face-off, he said you can't teach a kid calculus. Yeah. What I say, yeah, man. What I say, yeah. I heard you at the face-off say something that was actually wild. He was asking me how to teach calculus to an infant, but I ain't get it till after a while. I thought about that score. Yeah, you know, I ain't gonna do the whole job, but yeah. Ooh. I can't give him all that. That's pay-per-view. Go get the pay-per-view. Nah, you was actually wigging, wigging. And I'm going to tell you this. You're battling one of the goats, man. You got to step this shit up. Nah, no doubt. I personally had it 1-1 one, one going into the third. That's right. the only uh, information I'm giving out. Yeah. I had it 1-1 one, one going into the third. And then you think Moot beat me. Huh? And then you think Moot beat me. That's I'm not saying on no, camera. I'm not going to say on camera who I say no, who I mean, got I that third. You talk off camera. You told me I won 3-0 and I'm way better than Moot. He did not say that. So That's what you said. Oh, yeah, you just told me. I but that was to... off camera. Yeah. Why are you saying that on camera? Know you know, if I got to edit this shit out now. Yeah, my bad. I hate editing interviews. <laughs> <laughs> nah, but no, no shit, man. I was like, I, you know what? Fuck it, man. It's what you do all the time. So I'm not, I'm not overly impressed today. Like as if I'm not used to you doing this. You did your thing tonight, brother. Appreciate you, man. And, and going into this, man, I, I was blessing. liking the angles you was using too, man. No, that was my whole plan to attack this time. Because usually when I come out in the first round, I'm throwing everything and the kitchen sink at you. And I'm going to just cruise to victory. I might take take the foot off the gas in the third a little bit because I feel like I'm already up. This one, I know Mook is, is a strategist, you know what I mean? And it's a, it's a legacy battle. You're battling somebody who people consider to go. Right. So you might have to switch over your plan to attack. So that's why I like I feel like my material in this round, my first round was dope. My second round was better than my first, and my third was the best round I had. Which is how I usually would put like my best round first, but I was like, you know, not to say my first round wasn't good enough. Right, 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 right. Like, right. I need to have some anchors in this third. Like when I had the fucking, in the third round, I had the um, Coke So White joint. After the Yes Jewels podcast, she then going to the Coke So White joint, and then the Explain After Your Child. All that shit came in one seat. <laughs> so it's like, you know, usually you could take either one of those to split them up and put them in each round. It's like, okay, this is the winner right here. This is my anchor for this one. But I just had all three of these shits coming back to back. You know? Berserker How? Barrage. You know what that means? You know what a Berserker Barrage is? I'm no. Like, Berserker God, Barrage? You'll never find out what a Berserker Barrage is. Berserker Barrage. Now you're going to have to make me look that shit up, man. <laughs> like, I need to do homework tonight. <laughs> Berserker Barrage. How how was Mook? Was he better than you thought he was or not as good as you thought he was going to be? How did you feel about Mook tonight? I'm going to keep it real, bro. It was a lot of bullshit. Like, he had some moments where I was like, okay, that was good. But, like, he literally said, ring around the rose, Humpty Dumpty, A, B, C, D, E, I'm an F and G, H, I, just kidding, J, K, ring, bro. I mean, I dig it. That's what you went to, bro. If that's what you went to, I mean, I thought it was a lot of, you know what I mean, shit that I ain't fuck with, but I feel like the dog comfortably struck again. You know, shout out to the fans, the supporters. We here now. It's different. The bag is up. Finally, after all these years, you know what I mean? You said your bag is up? Right. Should be. Finally. After no, it should be. The price is up now. Yeah. You know? Nice. We all right. Bro. As it should be. And like you say, man, you just battled the... You know, 
you, you battled the GOAT. So, like, what the fuck? Who's next? Right. And you, you're right. Your bag should get bigger now. Mm -hmm. And like you said, finally. Yeah. Finally. Yeah, so, right. yeah. 14 years strong, right? Like, I'm no new jack. You know, you know what I'm saying? Facts. I do rap like the new way, but I am on some new shit. But, you know, we ain't going to be getting younger. Man. That's all, you know? Uncle Rob, no, he ain't back man. You know? That's a fact. That's a fact. And uh, good shit tonight, man. That's, I mean, oh, man. <coughs> and oh, now, is it a 30 sack or is it a 20 sack? Me, I feel like I got that 30 sack. I ain't gonna lie. Mm. Now, however, they wanna say whatever, but I feel like I comfortably want 3 0. Right. People's who opinions I respect a lot for saying the same thing. And at the end of the day, if, if it's somebody else saying I lost 2 1, that just means we had a debatable battle. So if you have a debatable battle with them, with Mook, who y'all consider the GOAT, y'all need to stop talking about me like that. Stop disrespecting me. I think, think we could finally just chill out, man. Just admit defeat. You nerds could not defeat me. Right, you right. Lost. <laughs> this is just what happens when nerds go up against the cool. He said, I read so much, I'm a nerd. Bro. I feel like a nerd. What? He said something like that. I read so much, I feel like a nerd. I said that? No, he did. Oh. I guess that's all it takes to be a nerd. To read. <laughs> I don't know. I keep letting this fucking. Now, nah, but again, up. last thing, you, you, the feeling. You know what I mean? Like, again, when I asked you prior to the battle, you know, last night, you you know, you really didn't want to talk, you know, about it like no, that. That's but that's the thing. I, and now, now to, to expound on that, right? Mm -hmm. When people are asking you, like, yo, so you're battling move. It's a big opportunity, man. How do you feel? Is this different or this whatever, right? Even though I know I, I'm writing harder for this battle. I'm, I have more bars than this one than anybody else, even though I might not feel like whether I think it's my best material or whatever, that is, that's not the point. As long as you prepare more and you're writing more because it's a bigger battle. I know Mook is a legacy battle. I know all of this. But if me, as like a new era dude, if I get on camera and Gives say, him material. And, and if, exactly. As soon as I get on camera and I'm like, yes, I respect Mook and all that he's done. And he does an interview behind me like, yeah, Big K don't even deserve this shot. Then you get to come out here and say A, B, C, D, E, F, G. And people just like, yeah, fuck him up, Mook. You see what I'm saying? So I can't. I got to be like, man, what the fuck about this shit? You can't beat me. No, it's not a big battle. It's just another day in the office for me. Right, right, I'm right. I'm like 60, 60 battles out there. You know, and I ain't one of these. The fucking dog strikes again. Tell him, man. Tell him, man. Three. Oh. The fucking dog strikes again. The dog strikes. Again, strikes man. And we was in the building. Seven, seven, five, seven, five, seven so man. So that Norfolk shit on the camera. The harder this shit, man. Yeah. Uh -huh. He can't pull that fake dog because we with him. <laughs> we from them parts. You kind of hold down the whole hallway. That's, that's all, that's all, that's all we've been there. We all out here. We all with the dog right here. Yeah. Big K took all that. Took all that. Cut though. First round. Still coming. Still coming. We was we was thinking there. Yeah, yeah. We really mobbed up in here, Rock. You see that? Seven five seven. Still more. Look, fifteen minutes of fame. Uncle Rock. The dog strikes again. Yeah. That's right. Oh uh, shit, man! I just saw Mook, man. Hold up, man. Maybe we can get Mook coming out here. Once he comes out of here. Fifteen minutes of fame. You are now listening to Fifteen Minutes of Fame Radio. Let's go.